Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we have the Battleground Review. Uh, why is that so shaky? Okay, there we go. Uh, now, the reason we're doing a video like this is because I have no internet, and I can't find the normal setup I have, so I have my phone set up very so slightly on a tripod, and hopefully it doesn't fall over, and if it falls over, this video will not be seen from this take. Battleground started off with Sasha and a mystery partner versus Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Charlotte, uh, Sasha's mystery partner is Bailey. Charlotte and Dana attack Sasha and Bailey while, da while Bailey was coming out. Charlotte takes over at the beginning. Bailey starts to rally back a little bit. Sasha puts the bank statement, the bank bank statement on Charlotte. Dana then pulls Charlotte out of the ring. Bailey drop kicks Dana and Charlotte clotheslines Bailey. Sasha then gets Charlotte back in the ring, puts her in another bank statement, and makes Charlotte tap out. The New Day versus the Wyatts. Braun Strowman started off well he didn't start off. He he technically started off with Big E and then Xavier tagged himself in, and then Bray tagged himself in, and then, uh, Xavier didn't do anything, so Kofi went in, and Kofi took over a little bit, and then Braun came in and took took over on Kofi. And then Rowan got his turn on Kofi, and then Bray hit a senton on Kofi, and they hit a giant clothesline. Big E eventually got in, and he took over on everybody, and he suplexed uh, Eric Rowan. Xavier, he uh, he ripped Kofi out of the sister Abigail, and then he snapped and just started beating the shit out of Bray. He hit a frog splash on Bray, but Bray hits the sister Abigail and picks up the win. Rusev and Zack Rusev versus Zack Ryder for the United States Championship. Rusev starts off very strong. Ryder attempts to rally back, but it doesn't work. Zack Ryder eventually, a little bit down the line after Rusev destroys him, uh, Zack hits a broski boot. Then he hits a Rough Rider. It looks like Zack's about to win, but Rusev reversed the elbow drop. Rusev locks in the accolade, and Zack Ryder taps. Rusev then attacks Zack Ryder after the match, and just as we think no one's going to come down and save Zack Ryder, Z Mojo Raleigh to the rescue. Nothing really happens. Mojo Rawley just kind of stands in the ring and screams it. Rusev. And then Rusev just kind of walks away. Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. The best match of the night. The match started off very even. Cannonball to Sami Zayn. Owens then started to take over from that spot. Owens put Sami Zayn in the headlock. Zayn then hit a clothesline. And he got a, a two count off a blue thunder bomb. Owens hit a super kick. He got a two count. Owens locked in a cross face. He got a rope break. Zayn super su suplexed Owens on the apron. Uh, it was more like a brain buster they were com uh, comparing it to. And he got a nine count. Owens hit a cannonball into a frog splash. And he only got a two count for that. Zayn hit a tornado DDT. But then ran into a, a super kick. Zayn slams Owens twice. He gets a two count. And then the crowd gives them a standing ovation. Owens hits a pop-up powerbomb. And Sami Zayn just barely gets a rope break. Sami Zayn then hits a haluva kick. He holds Kevin Owens in his arms. He puts Kevin back in the corner and hits him with another haluva kick for the win. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are definitely not done there. Becky, Becky Lynch versus Natalia. Becky started off very strong. Natalia threw Becky into the steps, and Natalia started focusing on Becky's leg. Becky hit an Guri, and she began to rally. She hit the, she hit the Beck exploder. She got a two count. Natalia locked in the sharpshooter, but Becky got a rope break, and. After that, pretty much right after that, Natalia put the sharpshooter in again, and Becky tapped. 
The Miz versus Darren Young for the Intercontinental Championship. Darren started off strong. He was going to win this match. Uh, the Miz threw Darren off the top rope onto the outside. Darren started to fight back, and The Miz tried to leave, but Bob Backlund stopped him. Uh, right after that, Maurice slapped Bob Backlund, and then she fell over, acting like Bob Backlund hit her. Bob Backlund then hulked out and ripped off his shirt through his suspenders, so he was still wearing suspenders, but ripped off his shirt. And Miz then push, uh, pushes Bob Backlund down to the ground. And Darren Young puts Miz in the chicken wing outside, the ri outside of the ring. And they get a double count out. So Miz keeps the championship on SmackDown. That's how that match ended. That's it. Enzo and Cass and Cena versus the club. Enzo is a phenomenal, phenomenal man. His promo before the match was great. It, it was amazing. Enzo and AJ start off the match. Cass then soon takes over on Anderson. Cass throws Enzo into Gallows and Anderson uh, over the top rope. And then Cass soon throws AJ into that group of people as well. Gallows suplexes Enzo. He gets the two count. The club then have their way with Enzo. Cena and AJ then come in. Cena hits a five knuckle shuffle. AJ reverses the AA with a Pele kick. Cena then eventually does hit the AA, but Anderson pulls AJ out of the... He hits the AA on AJ. Anderson pulls Cena out of the ring and slams him onto the German announce table. Uh, Styles hits a Styles Clash on Cena, but Cass pulls AJ out of the ring. Um, Gallows and Anderson hit the Magic Killer to Cass, and... John Cena hits the AA from the top rope to AJ Styles for the win. The highlight reel with Chris Jericho with special guest Randy Orton. Randy Orton has been gone for nine months due to an elbow injury. And he's like, I made an epic return. These people got me excited. I'm going to try to not be mad that I have to share it with Chris Jericho. And Jericho then fills Randy in on what all that's happened. He says that uh, Dean Ambrose is the champion. Um, what all did he say? I don't remember. I know he definitely said Dean Ambrose was champion because he reminded everyone, everyone about the 69 tax that Dean Ambrose put inside of him. Um, yeah, I honestly don't remember what else Chris Jericho said. Randy then receives the gift of Jericho. The next part is the best part. Randy says that it may take 20 suplexes to get to Suplex City, but it only takes one RKO to get to Viperville. That line alone is good, but the added extra is what makes it great. After he says, but it only takes one RKO to get to Viperville, Randy Orton looks into the camera and says, no enhancements needed, and drops the microphone. And Chris Jericho even says, I'm pretty sure you're going to pay for that little line. And then RKO to nowhere to Jericho. Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. Uh, Stephanie, Mick Foley, Shane, and Daniel Bryan were all at ringside. Uh, as soon as the bell rang, Roman Suck chance started. Romans and Rollins, they started the fight outside. Dean and, uh, for the first, like, five minutes of the match, it was mainly Roman versus Rollins with Seth, uh, Dean standing in the, uh, ring just watching uh dean and roman then started to train trade blows dean drop kicks roman he got a two count seth slams dean's face into the turnbuckle and as soon as he does that seth receives a drive-by seth throws dean into the steps and then throws roman into the barricade and roman 
uh, clotheslines Seth into o- over the barricade into the timekeeper's uh, area, and Dean jumps off the German announce table, I think, and um takes out Dean and Seth. Oh, Dean, not Dean, Seth and Roman. Dean hits a running bulldog on Roman. Seth hits a frog splash on Dean. He gets a two count. Roman Superman punches Dean and Seth. Dean and Seth then beat down Roman. And they attempt a powerbomb in the middle of the ring. Then they get Roman on the outside of the ring. They look at the announce table. The Spanish announce table. And they proceed to tear it apart. And then they powerbomb Roman Reigns through said Spanish announce table. And as soon as that's done, Seth hits Dean Ambrose with a chair. And then he hits Roman Reigns in the back with a chair. Seth superplexes Dean and then hits the Falcon Zero. One, two, Dean Ambrose kicks out. Roman power bombs Dean and Seth. He only gets a two count. Roman hits a Superman punch to Dean, but he turns right into a pedigree. Uh, Seth gets a two count. D- Roman then hits another Superman punch and a spear to Seth. He goes for the pin. Dean picks up Roman, hits Dirty Deeds. One, two, three. Dean Ambrose is still the WWE champion. And then the SmackDown locker room, led by Super Cena himself, come down, enter the ring, and celebrate with Dean Ambrose because... Not only was this a WWE Championship match, but Raw had Seth and Roman. SmackDown only had Dean Ambrose. It was only him who had a chance to keep the title on SmackDown. And he did it. He pulled it out. He won clean. Uh, he, he pinned Roman. He won clean uh, today. He won clean on Tuesday. Uh, yeah. WWE Championship stays on SmackDown. Uh, they're probably going to add a second title on Raw, maybe. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I apologize if you can hear background noise. The washer is currently going. Uh, it shouldn't be that loud. I hope not. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. We'll just have to see how what they have planned for Raw tomorrow with no world championship and then tuesday for smackdown um i didn't see the pre-show uh it was the usos versus fandango not fandango brizongo uh i didn't see see it i didn't care to see it i don't care who won it's probably the usos i don't i don't know i don't care uh the mat the night ended with the usos holding dean ambrose up on their shoulders while he holds the title so I don't know. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Camp Counselor Cody, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles.